Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, I'm gonna walk you through this pretty cool bit of gear that my local fish shop just got in store, the Spin Touch FF. All right, so thanks for joining me on another episode of Parker's Reefs. And this one should be a pretty quick one. I got a message from the owner of my local fish store that said, bring in a water sample when you head in today because he's got this new bit of a gear that automatically tests eight parameters of salt water and it does it with as little as three mil of water. It's called the Spin Touch FF. Now, this device apparently has been around for a couple of years, but it's just starting to find its way into the aquarium use. And it tests the following eight parameters alkalinity from zero to 300 ppm. Now that is in ppm, not DKH, but it's super easy to convert. Ammonia from zero to three ppm, of which you don't really wanna go over three ppm, things get pretty toxic. Calcium between 208, p 200 and 800 ppm, which I think we can all agree is a very suitable range. Magnesium from as low as 500 up to 2200 ppm, which is again within range. Nitrate between zero and 60 ppm, very suitable. Nitrite from zero to two ppm, nothing wrong with that at all. pH between 6.5 and 10, I'm happy with that. And lastly, phosphate from zero to 2.0 ppm. So as you guys know, I'm a bit of a gear junkie, particularly when it comes to reef tanks. So I really wanted to test this bit of gear out. So I've loaded up some water, but just before we head in store, I have done a little manual test here just to see where my parameters are at. All right, so I did a round of tests at home using my alkalinity HANA checker. I got 7.34 DKH. For pH, I just used an API kit and got 8.3. For phosphate, I used my HANA check and got 0.04 ppm. On calcium and magnesium, I used Aquaforest and got 450 ppm and 1400 ppm. Nitrite, I used API and thankfully got nothing. And nitrate, I really like the Red Sea Pro kit and I got two ppm on that one. I'm gonna load that water in the car. We're gonna head on up to Deer Park Aquarium now have a look over this machine, test it out and see what we get. Let's get going. All right, so I've got my water sample that I've brought in store and I've just uh, put it in a brine shrimp container, but uh, I gave that a good rinse out first. Got the device itself. I do have a little uh, HANA salinity tester just to make sure that that's in the ballpark. I have tested that already at 1.026, so we're all good. And I've got a fresh, fresh uh, disc here that I've just ripped open. Now it's important when you're handling these discs not to touch them top or bottom. So once you've ripped that open, you wanna try and just handle it by the sides. But uh, I'm gonna grab a syringe of water, which it takes about three mil per test. You wanna make sure you get no air bubbles in the syringe though. We look for the little fill indicator, which you can see on the little disc, it's got a little hole for fill which I'm just gonna sit this on a level surface, put the syringe in there. Fills till we come around to the fill line, we're good. All right, now what we do is open up the door. It's got a little flat side, which just aligns it. And then we grab the little uh, disc cover, which just stops excess light getting in there. That's got a little flat side as well. Close that down. Tap the test. You can hear the unit spin up. That disc has got a number of little ball bearings and some preloaded reagents in there. Just mixes the uh, reagent with your waters. Takes about 60, 120 seconds. Displays all the results on screen. So we'll give that a second and then we'll see what it says my water's at. We actually get a little status bar as it goes through the test. Here you can see we're about four fifths of the way through now. So. In the final stages, stages of the spin touch test. All right. All right, so once the results come in, you can see we get the elk displayed in PPM. Now, 129 PPM of elk comes in about 7.2, which is fine. I actually tested this at about 7.3, 7.4. The good thing is we're reading about the same result in each. So that's that's a happy, happy outcome. I'm happy with that. pH of 8.0, that's fine. The phosphate's coming up at 0.1. Now, one thing to bear in mind with this unit is that uh, when we're testing phosphate on this, it's not to give you a uh, like a three decimal place result. It's really a bit of a uh, rough indication as to whether you need to then bring out the HANA checker to go any further. But at uh, 0.1, I'm happy with that. When I'm testing on the tritation kits or with my um, HANAs at home, I'm getting about 0.04, so I'm happy with that. 
Calcium at 455 is almost identical to what I'm getting at home. Magnesium at 1399 is about exactly the same. I was getting 1380, I think. No ammonia, no nitrite, and three nitrates is exactly where I like things. So uh, pretty happy with those results there. Now, as you can see, you also get the option here when it's connected up to your computer, which at the moment it's not standalone, we're uh, just plugged into the wall. But uh, when it's hooked up to the computer, you can actually save those to a uh, file. So you've got a date and a time of when those results came in. You can print them out for the customer. You can email them to the customer, or you can just press the menu button to head back to the uh, menu and get ready for the next test. So uh, pretty simple little device, load the water up, press the button and come back two minutes later to get your results. All right, I just thought I'd give you a quick look at the uh, used disc. You can see all the uh, reagents in there. Now that they've reacted with the uh, salt water, you get some different colors, which is obviously what it reads through the sensors, but it's uh, pretty cool to see. And another point of interest is that there's actually a couple of empty chambers that uh, they're obviously leaving for uh, potential future expansion, which is pretty cool. They may bring some more parameters to these discs. Now, a couple other things I should mention that the uh, company actually provide a uh, reply paid envelope to send these discs back so they get recycled, which is really good because obviously in this hobby, we want to be conscious of the environment. And uh, you also get this uh, little uh, reference check disc, which uh, comes with some colors already in it. So you can spin that and make sure you're getting the results. Make sure that your uh, spin touch is testing it within range. And then I must admit, I'm not sure if you can uh, calibrate to this or if uh, you then do something to uh, bring it back into calibration. But uh, this is a nice little reference check to make sure that you're still reading the way you should. And of course, comes with this beautiful Pelican hard case, but uh, here at Deer Park Aquarium, it's gonna stay up on the shop counter and get plenty of use there. It's gonna save the staff here so much time for customers wanting their waters tested. They can bring this in, we can load it in. It takes a few seconds to load up, spin it. It'll give you a result to then let you know whether you need to dig any further on any of those or if everything looks within the ballpark. So um, pretty cool bit of technology. All right, guys, there you have it. That's my overview slash introduction to the Spin Smart FF. And uh, this device is now in operation at Deer Park Aquarium. And as someone who works there one day a week, I think it's an absolute game changer because I know how difficult it is when a customer comes in and the store is flat out and they ask if you can test all of their parameters for them. And uh, if you've ever tested a whole suite of tests before, you know how taxing that can be, let alone when you've got people asking you questions in between counting drops, writing down parameters, uh, doing a sale at the till, it gets really quite difficult. And the last thing I want to do is give a customer an inaccurate result, which they then use that value to base a decision on what they're going to do with their tank next. The fact that I can get this disc, load up three mil of water in it, put it in the machine and just hit spin, come back and get a digital readout for eight results is an absolute game changer. It's easier for the staff and it's much, much more accurate for the customer, which is ultimately the important thing. Now these tests, obviously they're not cheap, but technology comes at a price. So the Deer Park Aquarium team are subsidizing the cost of these tests to make sure that you guys get the best value. For $10, they do the full suite of those tests. And if any of them come up with a questionable value, they'll then dig deeper with another kit to verify it. So I think that's an unbelievable deal. If you want to take, well, if you're a Melbourne reefer or a Victorian reefer, and you want to check this device out, take a sample of water in. It's going to cost you 10 bucks. Check out the latest and greatest technology and um, have a look at some fish and coral while you're in store. Anyway, guys, I will leave you at that in this video if you enjoyed it please do give it a thumbs up if you have any questions comments or feedback pop it in the comment section down below and as always if you haven't done so yet please consider subscribing by hitting that bottle that ball uh, by hitting that button in the bottom corner down there till next time guys stay safe keep reefing bye